this is ATL launcher and I have gotten a lot of comments asking me how to install it so this is the video that you've been looking for how to download and install the ATL launcher for Minecraft in 2024 let's go ahead and get started now the first step to download and install ATL launcher is to click that second link in the description which is going to bring you to the ATL official page you could also search this app atlauncher.com and that is going to bring you over here and once in this page of course feel free to read through all the info if you need to but you could just click where it says download and it will bring you over here where you could select the OS where you're going to be installing this launcher on in my case I'm going to be installing it for Windows so I'm going to go ahead and select the setup for Windows you also have a portable version which is pretty cool it's pretty useful because that means you don't have to install it but it could cause some issues sometimes that's why I like installing it so just go ahead and click where it says setup and that'll begin the download immediately for the installer of ATL launcher now while the ATL launcher is downloading here's a message from Apex Hosting if you're looking for a micro server either a Java or a Bedrock server Apex Hosting is the perfect service for you they offer 25% off if you use that first link in the description they have support for over 200 mod packs so once you install ATL if you're going to use some mod packs and you want to play with friends then Apex Hosting is the perfect complement for you because you could literally create a server for more than the mod packs that ATL supports you could actually create a server in less than five minutes and something that I personally love besides Apex Hosting having locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging is that you could actually access the server console through your phone meaning that you could not only create the server through your phone but you could be like a Walmart or something and still control your server kick people out change the settings change the weather whatever you want to do because it is your server you could do so through your phone i'm gonna go ahead and leave that first link for 25 percent off and now let's keep going with the tutorial let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop now with the atl launcher in our desktop i want you to go ahead and close minecraft as well as your minecraft launcher to prevent any compatibility issues and once you do so go ahead and double click on the atl launcher that is going to open this installer in here all you have to do now is click next go ahead and click that you accept the terms and agreements of course nobody's going to read through these i recommend you do just in case because i'm not responsible if you have any issues using the atl launcher i'm just teaching you how to install it i didn't create it or anything so yeah go ahead and read through that if you need to and then hit next one more time and now select where you want to install it i recommend that you leave it on default because that is going to make sure everything works properly but hey it's up to you if you want to change the installation location and then hit next one more time now as you can see installing java 17 it's a requirement apparently for atl launcher or probably not a requirement but something that is recommended for most mod packs to work because most mod packs will be needing java 17 even though the newest minecraft now needs java 21 so if you're installing any newest mod pack later on and you're having issues where your game is crashing you might have to install java 21 and manually change the path of the newest mod packs to use java 21 directly which is something that we have videos on and that i could uh, teach you if you need to let me know down in the comments and i might make an updated guide on how to do so if you're having crashes happening on newest mod packs above micro 1.20.5 but most mod packs as of right now will use java 17 anyways go ahead and select that and hit next and now just go ahead and hit next if you want to create a desktop shortcut if not just unselect it and hit next again and now hit install finally to start the installation of the atl launcher uh, i have gotten a lot of comments of people telling me to use this launcher more often i actually have used this launcher in the past when i was creating my own mod pack which is available on moderate right now to optimize minecraft so yeah of course i have used atl launcher in the past anyways once we install it you're gonna have this little menu in here go ahead and hit finish and if you have this selected it's actually going to launch the atl launcher which is pretty useful now you might have some updates and stuff in here just go ahead and let it update and in here it's gonna actually ask you to set up the launcher i'm gonna leave it in english and then i'm gonna hit save to have it set up and open as you can see you have this in here and you could actually close out from the console if you need to anyways once we're here we now have the atl launcher set up we now have it installed and you are free to use the atl launcher as you please of course you could create a pack you could go through different packs from the curseforge page from mod range which is pretty useful because if you want to create a server a new instance or something like that the atl launcher is pretty pretty useful now something that is required and i'm letting you know now is that you're gonna have to log in if you want to use any mod packs or to use most of the features from atl launcher you're gonna have to log in so just head over to accounts and add your account in here it's completely safe and you're going to need an actual minecraft account okay this is not piracy video this is not a free minecraft the atl launcher even though it sounds similar to some other launcher which i'm not going to mention which gives you free minecraft is this is not it okay this is atl launcher this is a different thing this is actually legit and you're gonna have to log in and use your minecraft account so yeah go ahead and log in and that is how you're gonna be able to use the launcher anyways guys that has been everything from me today how to install the atl launcher i hope this tutorial was useful if it was don't forget to subscribe that's all i ask in return and as always bye bye